Growing up in the projects was like a jungle. To survive in that community, in that neighborhood, there's a certain bravado that you must have. But part of that bravado is part of that destructive and negative cycle that keeps young black men dying early. Shot in the grave, jail. The cycle will repeat itself if no one changes. Somebody must break the cycle. I don't believe many people really get where I come from. They see the speaker, Jermaine M. Davis, the college professor, Jermaine M. Davis, the author, Jermaine M. Davis. So they see a finished product. There's a story behind this. I want people to understand my story. I grew up in inner city Chicago on the west side. I grew up in a single parent home. I was the first person in my family to graduate from college. When you grow up in that environment, people opt to make quick money rather than slow money to stop the tear, the pain, the hurt, the agony. I was going to school and selling drugs. You catch a felony and it corrupts your life. Have you ever sold drugs to a pregnant woman? How do you feel about that? Can't hustle with your heart. You got to hustle with your mind. If you hustle with your heart, you always go wrong. Then they can't get a job. And then the cycle just keeps repeating itself. We can't go get hired nowhere. So sometimes motherfuckers feel stuck where they at, man. It's hard. Do you think you've let your dream die? Yeah, I did. Make me feel bad. I want to cry now, but I'm going to hold this in. Why are you going to hold it in? Because I'm hurt. I'm hurting myself and my baby. What did you mostly go to jail for? Drugs. Selling Dude. drugs or using drugs? Selling and using. June 2, 1986, my graduation out of high school. That's the day I got introduced to heroin. I've been down here ever since. Me and my dad didn't get along. I ain't had nobody to run to but my friends that was in the streets. Do you regret joining the gang? No. I don't. Some people are truly trapped in the cycle, and they don't know how to break the cycle. So now when we growing up right here, this is what we was taught. It's a cycle. That's why it's so hard to break the cycle. When it's something you're so used to all your life, you've been doing this all your life, it's hard for you to break it. You no know, selling drugs, game banging. It's a lifestyle of death, man. That's all they bring is death. It was important for me to do this documentary because the creator gave it to me as a gift. And the creator's like, Jermaine, let's use your life to create a film. A documentary. By show of hands, how many people in here, the adults and young people, know people that have been shot, killed, murdered? I want you to look around it. My uncles and my brother, they all died in their early 30s. Now I'm in my early 30s. I'm scared I'm gonna die so. Sometimes you're gonna have a dude right here or the young lady that's like, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, you real sissy. James, do you know that's how my brother got killed? I had six people in my family who died violently. They were either shot to death or stabbed to death. I don't want you to die multiple gunshot wounds. I don't want you to die multiple gunshot wounds. I don't want to go to no more funerals except for natural causes. I believe in helping people out because people need help. My heart is like that. My personality is like that. I want to help people, but I want people to be able to sustain their success. This is a small part of the world. And so sometimes you'll hear people say, man, I'm a product of my environment. How about you expand your environment? 
I didn't just end up on stage speaking. I had this dream. I had this vision since I was 17 years young. When I was in college, I said, you know what? I want to be a speaker one day. One of the worst things in the world is to see human potential destroyed. The hardest part of breaking the cycle is it's just it's hard. It's all hard, man. I can't really tell you which the hardest part of breaking it. Because I mean, when you're in it, you're in it. You don't know what what you how to get out of it. Breaking the cycle is very hard, but it's not impossible. Damn, you just get to think, why is we killing each other? I'm sorry to hear about your brother, man. I read about it in the paper. We killing each other for nothing. You ever lost somebody, man? Yeah, I We got to stop. We got to stop killing each other. The violence got to stop. We got to walk these streets and ask these black brothers to stop it. And we got to help each other. We got to stop being monsters. Cause we ain't doing nothing but creating young monsters. But we have to break the cycle. Your daughter, my son, so they can pass it down to their kids. So let me ask you this, man. How do you break the cycle, man? How do people break the cycle? How do we help people break the cycle? <laughs>